Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to have some Division 18 online ranked gameplay to start with in the Bantamweight Division, and we're going to be using none other than Henry Cejudo, Triple C, the best combat athlete alive to showcase exactly what the title of this video says and the thumbnail, and it's the easiest way to win on online ranked. And I've made similar videos and content in the past based around this topic, and nothing's changed. It is going to be grappling the only thing however that has changed is a more adoptive approach to potentially using ground and pound now i do think getting submission finishes are more conclusive i think they're a higher percentage win rate than if you're just going for ground and pound uh, because obviously you've got the the option of blocking the ground and pound and swaying and avoiding it entirely whereas with with submission attempts you can deny one or two but it's going to get harder and harder as the fight goes on well that being said, obviously, chin health does deteriorate over time, but I just think there's more avenue for escape when opting for ground and pound rather than going for submissions, especially if you get your submissions locked in, dialed in, and you know which ones to go for. So, you can see here, coming up against the TJ Dillashaw, started on the feet, it's round one of a five-round fight, and I believe he was a high, high division as well, coming into this. Um, we get the Osugari trip, which is a beautiful little trip, and very, very hard to deny. I remember when they introduced it in um, UFC 3 with Zabit, and everyone was loving the trip but very good trip to have uh, easy way to get the fight onto the ground and now that it is on the ground you'll see that i'm opting to be patient it is only round one so we both have full stamina and i'm just gonna be calm collected wait for the opportunities to present themselves position over submission unless uh tj stamina goes to a position where i know i can take advantage of so get the deny here which is crucial because we can't push us to defense and that's where it's very key to to know your surroundings i know i'm against the um octagon wall there so it's easy for him to posture up and just push me to the cage and then look for a takedown himself or disengage whereas um in the middle of the octagon him getting up wouldn't be as catastrophic so i know that transition is going to be very very quick so i've got to be patient but also look to pre-deny and fortunately done the right thing and not back in his closed guard here but again Always position over submission at this point in the fight. It's very early on. I'm just going to remain patient. But the other clips are going to be using different fighters as well. Uh, just to let you guys know. I think two of them are in the middle of the fight. So I didn't have the start of the um, gameplay. But it's still going to show you exactly what, what I was looking to do. And this was, this was not meant to actually happen here. I was meant to fake that transition. But ended up locking it in too deep there. But like I was saying. I do think that grappling as a whole is the easiest way to win fights online even when you come up against the div 20 guys a lot of them submission defense is really really bad and once you do get them on the ground they're going to struggle um i would also now as of recently i've been implementing ground the pound more and it is effective um i never had any questions how effective it was it just i knew it wasn't as effective as getting a submission finish and for someone that plays the game like myself who plays it too you know he's played a lot of games on online ranked i can sort of easily tell what what is a formula works for me like this submission for instance the the kimura into the armbar is something that works very very well for me so something that i stick to the armbar from um crucifix or side saddle the guillotine something that's been uh catching on with me actually that i've been using to catch a lot of people off guard i'm trying to improve on my choke submissions because i'm not as good when it comes to the chokes and it's something i thought is is letting me down a little bit and will diversify my range so it's something i've started using but more so as of recently i've been implementing ground and pound and having a lot of success of it too uh, i'm not going to sugarcoat it the ground and pounds have been starting to take effect i think one of the main reasons i struggled before was uh due to being a bit too predictable with the strikes i was throwing i still don't like that you leave yourself vulnerable to to get a reverse depending on um your opponent and also the vulnerableness of you know the the fight just getting back onto the feet especially when you work really hard to to get the fight onto the ground and you can see here using the the female habib tatiana suarez that get joanna to the ground and everyone knows exactly what's going to happen here it's in a complete mismatch on the ground do a good job of circling around and getting to the back being patient again and you'll notice that i knew she was going to get up because i was facing the cage and that transitions the fastest so again pre pre-denied that stay impatient here don't want to get shrugged off after all the hard work getting to this position get the deny here and i believe i posture up and just start raining down some strikes and if you're against someone that isn't very good at moving the head or catching the strikes you will get the fight out there very quick especially if you have someone with good ground and pound like tatiana suarez so 
as you can see, it's as easy as that. And that was, again, I think that was a Division 16 op opponent when I was in Division 14. So these are people that tend to be in the higherish ranks. Um, and a lot of the fights in this video is me ranking up getting to Division 20. And here's a pretty tailor-made fight, to be honest with you. It's against uh, Anthony Joshua, who, of course, isn't going to be as uh, well-versed as a Linux on the ground, a submission specialist, the, the boa constrictor. So get the fight to the ground and again being extremely extremely patient use his defense to get up which is smart i look to take take his back go to get the, the takedown very good job there from uh, anthony joshua in stopping that he stays too long against the fence clinch again take his back and just being patient with it take his back and opt to jump on it this time because i thought it was the safer route i noticed a lot of players are now getting good at denying the cage takedowns which is um which is good to see uh, because it makes the fights a little bit more competitive. I think that was the easiest way of getting the fights on the ground before because a lot of people were not good at um, denying the turning uh, transitions from getting the back. But uh, the more I'm playing, uh, the better people are getting at denying those. So you've got to be real creative and actually think about how to get the fight onto the ground. It's still very doable. Um, and you'll see a lot in a lot of my gameplay, I still do get the same takedowns. But I feel like as an overall whole level, people are definitely improving on the takedown defense. And that's natural. The game's been out for a fairly good while now. UFC 5 is in need of coming out. So people are going to get used to um, the denying takedown. So yeah, you can see that I knew he was good at it. So I just opted to take his back as well. I knew that my stamina was in a decent position to where if he jumps off and I land on my back, he won't reverse the position. And even if he did, I'm comfortable being off my back with uh, a Linux. At the end of the day, um, Anthony Joshua won't pose too much of a threat get another deny here which was good and we go for the anaconda so that was another denier there and i'm really testing out my choke and you can see my choke submissions are not as good so i deny this here go to circle round and here i was going to get on his back good deny there and um i'm just going to stay patient here i go for something a little bit unorthodox so he reverses the position I'm waiting to see what he does. He bushes up, throws some strikes, and as you can see, if you look at his stamina, it's very, very low. So I go for a very sneaky submission here that not many people do go for. And if they do, it's very rare that you get this submission, but I go for the rolling knee bar here. And like I said, uh, to start with, this is a tailor-made matchup, but I still thought it was quite impressive getting this submission. I think my opponent was in Division 15 at the time, so obviously knows what he's doing. Um, is pretty clued up and like I said this is while it's ranking up so everyone's rank got reset so the divisions don't mean too much normally but they, they mean even less when everyone's just ranking up because no one's in their usual division so done a good job here of getting this sneaky submission finish against um, Anthony Joshua and this is pretty evident uh, if this if this matchup was uh, in real life I think this is exactly what would happen you'd get submitted but Again, so you can see the submissions are a clear way of winning winning your fights, and not only that, the ground pound is also viable. So here we're using the female goat Amanda Nunes, uh, the the greatest women fighter of all time. She's now retired, which is a shame because I would have loved to seen her just beat up Juliana Pena one last time because the way she was acting during her re retirement speech was absolutely disgusting, and nothing short of it. And I think she should be extremely embarrassed of her actions. Amanda definitely did not retire because of you. She absolutely obliterated you in the second fight and it wasn't even close. And the third fight would be absolutely no difference. So get the takedown here on Valentina. And one thing about Nunes is her ground game is so, so good. And she has one of the submissions which I think has the highest percentage uh, rates for me when I lock it in. And you'll see what that submission is just in a second. So... Get to get to the side saddle position here, and this is a very very dominant position. It's as good as the crucifix, I'd say. The crucifix obviously a little bit stronger, but if you have the right submissions from here, you can definitely punish your opponent. You can see the ground and pound is uh, taking full effect, breaking away the guard, and by doing that, it's just going to be frustrating Valentina even more. She managed to get out, go straight back in it, and again, look, I'm going to be really really patient, throw the elbow, wait for the transition, get the deny here. And again, patience, frying the elbows, waiting for one wrong move. Here comes the wrong move there. And again, and this is just really frustrating process. So getting to side saddle, a couple more elbows. And what I'm doing is I'm using these uh, grounder pounds as a way to weaken Valentina's block and her chin, but also create the opportunity for sneaking in the submission. So Valentina done well to, to get out of it there. We get into top mount because we've got a clear, distinct stamina advantage. 
on post drop you can see I'm being a lot more aggressive than I usually do with the ground and pound didn't throw any straights there because I wanted to get a gauge to see where Valentina would be moving her head but for those of you who watch my content a lot, you'll tell that with the ground palm I'm being a lot more aggressive and meticulous. And that's something that I'm definitely going to carry on going forward. And go to side side, will go for the armbar. And again, I went for it when I knew her stamina was low because Valentina does have good submission defense. But like I said, this submission is extremely, extremely strong. If you get this sub locked in, it's going to be very, very hard for your opponent to, to get out for you. And again, this was all created by via the use of ground pound and being aggressive at the right times you see this is round three it's the final round uh, emptying my, my tank wouldn't have done too much damage to me if we had to get back onto the feet because i've not got many more rounds ahead so locking that submission you can see it was very very tight this opponent if i recall correctly was a similar division at the time and also um a fairly decent player and denied a couple submission attempts before uh, that one there and coming into this fight here we're round four championship rounds look at the stamina there now that is exactly what you want round four in a in a five round fight. Look at that, you cannot get more perfect, I think, than that stamina management there. I've even surprised myself with that. That's something I've been really working on. And um, when you're using a grappler, I do believe it's a lot easier to manage your stamina because, you know, most of the fights on the ground, you're denying the transitions, you're throwing the strikes. And um, it's a bit at your will, it's at your mercy and what you want to do. But this was a very good Leon Edwards player. This was, uh, I believe this matchup was when we was both in Division 20. And Leon Edwards poses a lot of threats. Very, very good fight. Obviously, the champion of the world for, for a reason. Headshot dead. And here, this was really weird. So, I went for the hook. He stunned me. I think he thought I stunned him. And he took a step back. Uh, left myself exposed there. And uh, got the stun off. So, right now, I'm thinking, all right, I need to get this fight to the ground. And we catch the teep. And take him down. So, this is the problem when you're facing wrestlers. When you're throwing stuff like teeps and roundhouses. Is if they get caught, it's an easy way of taking you to the octagon wall and getting the fight onto the ground and that's exactly what happened in this instance here he knows i want to go for the turf he knows i want to go for the crucifix so he's being very very patient and he tried to mix it up and reverse the position where we get the denier here and if i had the kimura this fight would have already been wrapped up here but hamza doesn't have it so staying patient i'm really surprised he uh doesn't have it to be honest with you someone like hamza who does get some mission finishes and um I definitely believe he's more than capable of getting a Kimura and transitioning to an armbar there in real life. However, surprisingly he didn't have it. It's not something I remembered. Good job controlling from Crucifix and remaining patient wearing away the head health. But this is what, exactly what you've got to do in this position, especially where you've got the stamina advantage. You know that you can just hold out and eventually get the finish. So stay impatient. Um, Leon here seems like he's given up. He doesn't know what to do. Can't really get out either side. Gets out there one more time. But we f start throwing continuously and i'm trying not to throw in a pattern because that's when it's easy to get bumped off but i'm just raining down the strikes here he's head off so low that we get the finish so if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more ufc4 content just want to say a huge thank you to all you guys for supporting the channel as of recently and thank you for 600 subs i, I really do appreciate that i will be streaming on either friday or saturday every week starting from now so please join in and um interact with me come have some games but yeah any content suggestions let me know in the comments below and just once again thank you for the support and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next upload